what's up guys thank you guys so much for clicking on a new piece for ambition video so guys as you can see i have my man my husband mr wise with me right here mr wise want to hey. say hi Hey, hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? Now, guys, I dragged him on. Well, I didn't really drag him. I just told him that I wanted him to be in the video because I have a good topic. And I feel like there's no other person that I would want to talk to this, talk about this with rather than my spouse, my other half, my, my partner, so my husband. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and got him here at the table. So we're going to have a good conversation. And we're going to be talking about today knowing when you know your spouse is the one or just knowing when you're with that person that you want to marry that you want to spend the rest of your life with that you want to basically tie you down or get tied down with you know so i want to have the conversation with my husband because i don't think we ever really had the conversation you know asking did, did you think i was the one before we got married or what about even now you know because i know that we've been through a lot of things um so you know really as relationship go through but you know we want to just talk about our mindset now and the mindset then. So let's just get it started. So I mean, go ahead, Mr. I mean, Wise. Just kind of picking up off what you mentioned, mindset now versus then definitely we're younger. It's going to be different, right. We're younger. Um, though we're still not perfect, you know, we're, we're I think we're, we're both We've grown. gotten better. Right. Um, you know what I mean? And it's just a connection. I've always talked about this. It's a connection between me and or, or maybe it's what they call the chemistry. Right, the you know, vibe. Or the, the, the science, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. keeps us kind of bonded. Mm -hmm. You know, even in our moments when it's like, you feel like, yo, this is it. It's like, there's just one, there's just this little thing. Something that holds on. Yeah, because that's how I feel. You yeah. know what I mean? And, um, you know, because she, she, she impact me. She impact my life dearly. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Because if I knew she, man, I tell her, trust me. You would have been a wild child, right? Yeah, definitely. Same less. And guys, let me just tell you guys. I'll give you guys a little bit of background that don't know already. And if you guys have not already, go ahead and check over um, on our family channel, The Wise Family 5. You guys can see more of our relationship and our family and everything else because some people may not be subscribed to our family channel. So go ahead and you check us out over there. Right. So, like I was saying, just to give you guys a background on us, we've been married for almost 10 years, 9 years. 10 and 9? 9 years. We've yeah. been together for about Since 11 years. No, I'm a 10 year man because at 2010 we actually been married. So, right, that 10, years. 10 years in August. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. 10 years. So, I mean, we've been together for 12 years. Yeah. We've been together for 12 years. We have three children. Um, we're in our early 30s, so we got married pretty young when we were in college on scholarships and everything. So, it's been a struggle none, nonetheless, mm -hmm. you know. But no matter what, we weathered it. We, you know, we broke up a couple times and we got over it, and we're still here standing 10 years later. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just really want to know, Andre, when we got married, mm -hmm. when I was eight months pregnant with Talani, uh, not Talani, with Akira, and we walked to the courthouse. Did you ever like, think in your head like, what am I doing? How do I know this is the girl I want to spend my life with? Like, even though I was pregnant with Akira, but did it cross your mind? I never thought. I don't think no way they would come on here. No? Yeah. You're just like, like cool. Only time I think no way that one time and I eat up a, a hot argument. Yeah. By the time we by the time we're back together, like we we we, we cool down, mm -hmm. we forget to me that thing that we. Yeah. That's how I feel. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kind of just chew that boat. So mean? you were just ready to get married, cause we were together two years at that point. Well, quite I think honestly, we were actually boyfriend and girlfriend. Me did come to America with the intent say. Trying to find a wife. Yeah, more want a wife. <laughs> and me not go act like. The, the difference is that Managa just Managa married her and be like say yo me I use her for just that because it wouldn't have worked I wouldn't have married and anyone that's the for thing. it I, yeah. we were not we were a real relationship because we were having girlfriend. like relationship problems it was and real we were like, together like I said we were together yeah, for two years yeah we were together for two years so we dated there was nothing and everything. fake about it nothing no nothing mm -hmm. so you know it's just it's just that connection man and just that soft tender vibe from you because you know that, that's one of the mm -hmm. things that kind of stood out about your personality to tell you the truth and then mm -hmm. you know you're different from me yeah so 
So yeah. how do you feel now, like 10 years later, still married to this face? I mean, I feel good. Feel good? Yeah, yeah. of course. I feel good because I just kind of, I appreciate it in a different ways and in things like, mm. you know, me I said it just kind of help, you know, despite, you know, imperfections here, imperfections there. We still honestly just kind of look past and think because the other things, there are other things that kind of keep us more right, stronger right, bonded. Right. And then we have another child. To me, that child just kind of help us to even lock to even more yeah. a little tighter. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like when we were younger and when we got married, we definitely didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. But it's just like mm -hmm. we came in like swinging, like, come on, life, yeah, bring yeah. it. Because we were in there like, you know. Mm -hmm basically alone little kids with a kid true, that is true. <laughs> so just thinking of all the things that we've been through we've been through a lot and here we are now and things aren't still is not perfect but we're still growing mm -hmm. it just makes me even want to like cling to you more because it's like come on wise come on like we are not about to give up we're going to keep on going so that makes me you know feel like if i was with someone else that maybe didn't go through such hard life that you might not have went that you went through they would have tapped out by now mm -hmm. you know so i have you who went through certain things and you're a fighter so you pull me at times and i'm pulling you at times so right. i feel like that helps me kind of seal the deal knowing that you're the one because even when i'm like eh, what are we gonna do you like suck those tears up mm -hmm. suck it up yeah, I have to figure it out, man. I don't know anything, man. Right. I have to get to it, man. And vice versa, so I'm like, why? Stop. Change your mind. Mm. Think this way. So, you know, I th like you said, it's just a chemistry. It's just a vibe. I, I think just knowing the person is the one just by how you guys gel together, I guess. Mm. If you feel that gel and you feel like it can't get no stickier or... I mean, we do. <laughs> when I go on, I said that's something I'll cook here and cook and cream. Oh, you no. Know? Nah. We we'll bump it up, we we'll bump it Of course, a lot. I mean, right. But, I mean, I'm not really look on it as, you know, not being I there. think that's just relationships, but. That's just human. Yeah, and there's things that we both have to work on. That's human on ourselves. and the opposite sex. Like, I'm a man, me a man, you're a woman. Right. And then we're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's natural for we just simply disagree on, on things and. and mm -hmm. You know what them things they go. Yeah, but none of those fights are worth giving up our, you know, our relationship uh -huh. and our family and everything. So, you know, I'm glad that I did marry you. Ten years later, we still look good. We still kicking it. I mean, you still my my role dog. It's really good. <laughs> I appreciate them. Yeah, for real. So, you know, I'm happy that we did take that chance. You know. Of, Literally, we pulled two ladies from the hallway and said, "Can you watch us get married? We need two witnesses." <laughs> oh, man. Like literally, the craziest thing I ever did in my life, but it's well worth it. Like, yeah, if God could have showed me ten years later and seen me here, and I just saw that, and just seeing that I had three kids and I'm in Florida, and you know everything, I think I would have still said, "All right, let's do it." Even if I just saw me getting married in this moment right now, I would just still say, "I'll do it." Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. You know, I just wanted to have a quick conversation. I appreciate you coming on my platform and just talking about that. You know, it means a lot to me hearing you talk about your feelings. And, yeah. you know, sometimes I think that's good in a relationship, just having these open conversations about things that we don't really talk about on a daily. And that's kind of what I want to do, a piece of ambition. Bring up topics that, you know, are important or, you know, things that we should talk about on a daily, but we don't. And just make it relatable and everyone can feel like they can chip into the, you know, conversation. Definitely. And uh, just kind of bring up back something that you had mentioned earlier um, about, I think we were talking about some of the things about you. Or me know the other one. Um, yeah. You know, is that even, that's even sometimes a simple, simple, simple thing. Mm -hmm. You know, just the way I'm feeling with their own. Like, make you genuinely laugh, yeah. crack up. Right. And feel like, free, right? I, I feel like, you know, other than just a sexual vibe, mm -hmm. me can genuinely laugh with you. Because I enjoy um, going to the movies, going yeah. to fun places, and, and just having just fun. I think that's with, where the friendship is. Yeah. You know what I mean? That That's that's what I cherish. Like, I really cherish that. Like, honestly. Yeah, when we're acting silly. And then... And it, we end up create like rituals for ourselves. Yeah. Rituals in the sense that um yeah, almost every night we we we'll, we'll binge watch a movie or something mm -hmm. and 
them with the speaker and stuff like that. You know, yeah, just, just being thing. like I said, just the vibe that we can build with each other and right. not even needing the outside world where we can like each other in our own mm -hmm. world. You know, I sometimes just just put my phone away, the kids are sleeping, it's just us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. So guys, when you find that person you feel like it's a person that you can see, think about them ten years from now. Let me see. Ten years from now, you probably have a few wrinkles, but he'll still be cute. So I, I, I'll stick in front of ten years at least. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> but the guys, make sure y'all go ahead and again. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Follow my husband on Dance Hall Critics. Make sure you guys look him up on Facebook as well as YouTube and Instagram. Dance Hall Critics. Any type of go ahead. Matter of fact, talk about your channel. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I know everybody know know we don't know the audience there, but. You can find me on Dance Our Critics on YouTube. And of course, go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. And ring the bell icon as well. So that's Dance All. Critics. You know what I mean? Dance All, one word. Mm -hmm. And then Critics, um, another word. <laughs> you can also find me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, please follow while you're at it. And I don't know the thing though. You see me? Oh, don't also follow me on Instagram as well. Yes, See, guys. Dance uh, that critics on Instagram. Yes, guys. Also, check out my homie Boss Life Trucker. Boss Life Your Trucker. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and follow him on YouTube. Boss Life Your Trucker. And my girl Simone. Yep. Home with it's Simone. Simone. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and check her out on YouTube. Yeah, right. Also, Instagram and Facebook. Check her out. I don't know if she has a Facebook, but find her anyway. Anyway, home with, home with Simone. Go support, follow, mm -hmm. subscribe, whatever you need to do to be a part of her movement. Yes, um, guys. Yeah. Make sure that you hashtag. Wise Five, Peace with Ambition, Dance Hall Critics, or whatever whatever it is, tell them that we sent you guys over there. Mm -hmm. And guys, make sure you go to PeacefulPurses.com. Uh, check out Peaceful Purses for your tees and also purses. Mm -hmm. I will be having a new shipment soon with sweatshirts, guys. Thank y'all so much for supporting me, supporting my family. And I hope you guys have a great one. Until next time, Peaceful Ambition.